Hello again and welcome back. And guess what? I am here. David is here with who else? Lady Pop Hunter is here, believe it or not. Hi. Hi. And she is going to do, or we are going to do, an unboxing. We haven't done an unboxing video for a while, but we have a bunch of stuff and we wanted to share. Some of it's Funko, some of it is not. We have a bunch of different things and we're going to go ahead and get started. And I've actually already cracked this one. And the box isn't looking too pretty, which yeah. is why I started opening it. I wasn't too happy with that. And I think you kind of know what this is already. And I see bubble wrap. And bubble wrap. And nothing uh. else. We just put bubble wrap on the top and we don't wrap anything else. Do you yeah, want to dig those guess out? guess that's or? how it's done. I guess that's how so it's done. So this is the... Oh, got a little glare. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, Ghostbuster set. If you um, by Playmates, right? Yeah, by Playmates. Um, they did a. I call it the cereal box because it reminds me of a cereal box. <laughs> That's a good analogy. But uh, they did the Ninja Turtle classics. If you've seen my complete video, my video of the complete Ninja Turtle set, you'll see them. But they did the Ninja Turtle classics, and then they also have the WWE. Yeah. set where the turtles are dressed up or disguised as uh various types of wrestlers and so in this one they're ghostbusters um the box i am not too happy with yeah and that's probably um, because of the poor packaging yeah just kind of threw it in the box kind of dinged up corner damage i mean i'm gonna keep it because <clears throat> you know i'll display it on the up. shelf i'm gonna pull the next one I'll oh, just... he's got a little spirit in there with him. See, on the upper right-hand corner, he's got like a, a ghost to zap, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And then you got this one, Raphael. Zetamore. Zetamore always has Slimer with him. Yeah. Because they did that with, Mezco did that with the 1 12th scale figures also. And the Michelangelo. Yep. Michelangelo with and a blue Peter spirit. Peter Vinkman. Look at this one. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, all that's a bad one right dinged there. up here in the and corner and the, all on over here in the back. Yeah. It's all flipped and up. And this is something that I talk about, too, with things that eBay sellers do that I hate. I did a top 10 list uh, here not too long ago. Top 10 things eBay sellers do that basically kind of suck. And that's one of them is when they're a seller that's not a collector – Man, they just throw stuff in a box because they don't care. Yeah. They do not care. There's a little corner ding there, too. Yeah. I mean, me, I'm not going to make a big deal. I'm There's not somewhere. happy with it. Um, so I won't yeah. leave good reviews. But, you know, I wish that the box was in better condition or if they had wrote on the... Um, on the description that the box was a little dinged up, it's I would have expected that. So... You know, that that's kind of disappointing. For me, it's kind of disappointing. But, you know, so, is, so it goes. And let's go ahead and grab something else. Who is that for? I think this is mine. I think I know. David is actually getting something. Yeah, I know. It's very huh? rare. How did that happen? Mm -hmm. you, uh, you're the one that always has all of the luck. I don't know. I know. Well, she deserves it. She's very special. <laughs> I think so. I know what this is, too. Oh, you do? This is an older item. Oh, okay. Newspaper. Yeah. It's better than nothing. Yeah, you look at the sales. Yeah. And it helps to mask the smell of, like, tobacco. Yeah. And then, Walmart bag. <laughs> well, at least, they, at yeah. least they tried. Okay, nothing this else isn't a bad do. idea. It's been taped on the back, too. That's good. Cool. This isn't a bad idea if you've got something that has, like, a... Sorry. A, it's okay. A cello window because the plastic will help to keep the cello window from being scratched up when, it, mm -hmm. when it's being shipped so yeah I don't mind the idea that it's been placed into a bag ready for this oh brave star it is Marshall brave star 19 oh it's unpunched unpunched and unfolded well, it's because these a flaps uh, it's a slight crease because there's a perforation there yeah. these are meant to hang on the card mm -hmm. on a, on a like this on a pegboard, but 
these are often very badly damaged. Yeah. The slight wrinkle there, I can live with that, mm -hmm. considering this is like 1986 Mattel. But often you see these people have bent this flap completely down. Yeah, absolutely. That seen is that. the Marshall Brave Star. The window is very clear. This window tends to get yellow. And you often see these with a considerable amount of sticker damage. There's a little bit of light. You know, I don't even think that's sticker damage. I think that's just uh, rubbing probably from when it was originally uh, packed in, mm -hmm. in the case. But I'm happy with this. And this is me getting back some of what I lost. Because, you know, I've talked about before that I had um, years and years ago a huge collection of vintage toy items that was stolen. And Marshall Brave Star was part of that collection. And I'm working on rebuilding the complete Brave Star set. So this is actually in really decent condition. I'm happy with that. And next we have a little box. Yeah, that's mine. Uh-huh. Yeah, I bet it is. Mm -hmm. I know what it is. Oh, do you? Yeah, it's a Funko Pop. Oh, no. Not Funko. I know. You just can't stop with the Funko. I know, but I well, am go this ahead. time. Yeah, sure you are. <laughs> Piece of paper. Okay, it's double box. Double box. That's always a good idea when you're dealing with Funko stuff. Uh huh. And this is the Pennywise Chase. Oh no. And the reason why I got it, if y'all remember when the Pennywise came out, Let's the Chase, that, the that was going for two and three hundred dollars. Yeah, at first. Yeah, That's but correct. now. Is dropped drastically. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars for that, and yeah. that's that's why sometimes, and you can never tell with Funko too, yeah. because it could go like really high, and then it stays there. But a lot of times, when the hype dies down, so does the price. Yeah. So, and, and I was happy not getting it at yeah, all. You know, I was price. like, you know, I'm not gonna get that, and I was fine with that. But I was on there, and um, I think, I, and I got this off of Amazon, and you know, they always send you the recommendations based on too. your stuff. And um, this one showed, and it showed for thirty seven dollars, and I was like, what? So I opened it up, and I looked at others, and that's the going price between thirty seven to fifty bucks. So if you ever wanted the Pennywise Chase. Now is the time because yeah. in, in, you might can wait a little longer and it might go down even more. Because, you know, that's why I didn't get the uh, the Chase Ryu from Street Fighter mm -hmm. because I'm not going to pay $150 no, for it. No, that's ridiculous. Nobody should. Not for a brand new item when you can get something older like that Brave Star. I don't know how much he paid, but, you know, if that was a hundred dollars you can understand that because it's not being made anymore that was created in 1986 correct and i'll start i'll start cutting open this next one okay this is a big surprise okay i got that split. i know that's not mine uh-huh that's a big box yeah and this is something that someone helped me out with and as you can see he knows what he's doing because oh, yeah, this, is a, kind of this is a thick box too. This is not a punk box. And we've got the air pillows on the top in case anything heavy was put on top. And then we've got this, which is taped all around. If you could pull that away. And I'll break the tape seals. And then I'll show you what this is. You'll be surprised. Something else that I had once upon a time that um, was part of the collection that was stolen from me. And I've been working on trying to get some of that stuff back. Well, he sure taped this up really good, yeah. though. And then good. he put a tissue wrap and on it. And then he tissue wrapped it, too, so that the <laughs> cello window wouldn't get scratched up. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, he did. He knew exactly what he was doing. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. On a Schwarzenegger. This is Diamond Toys, 1986, the original, the very first Arnold Schwarzenegger action figure. Super action figure. 16 60, inches tall. That doesn't look like 16 inches. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. 16 inches tall, mitt in the box. Arnold from the movie Commando which is like a super cheesy fun movie and there is a a painting of 
the image of him from the beginning of this film. And finding these still sealed in the box, see Diamond Toy Makers, Niles, Illinois. Finding these still in the box is next to impossible. You're lucky if you find one or two a year on eBay. Oh, and that's here a is, nice picture. Yeah, there's a poster on the back that you're Keep supposed to cut, cut out and save. Cut out and save. Wow, that's a nice picture. Mm -hmm. You want another one just to have the box to turn around. And there's two versions of this because there's the red box version and the black box version of this uh, John Matrix commando action figure. And then there's a third figure that's exact same size that is a ninja. And <laughs> who was not in the movie? But the, the figures are not based on the movie. They're actually based on a comic. Aha. Oh, okay. uh -huh. So that's that's where they get you. But yeah, the very first Arnold Schwarzenegger action figure. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it is. And so I really appreciate that. Yeah. I like the way he packed it. He took very good care. He took a to, lot of care to, to it. And that like I was saying, that's the difference. This is a collector who did this. Mm -hmm. He does not, you know, he doesn't want it to be damaged. He knows what it feels like when something gets messed up. Yeah, your heart get broken and just falls down. And there's I is that the I think that's a poster that's in there behind oh. his leg. Mm. But just giving you another quick look there at uh, Arnold. I think his knife fell out. Mm. Yeah, it did. It fell out of... I can fix that though because I, I think these did not come sealed. So I can open this and fix the knife because there's a knife floating in the bottom of the package. Yeah. And it actually belongs right in here. Mm -hmm. And then he's got his, uh, his sidearm. And Watch a, this. And a this is coming, coming loose. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, the <clears throat> flap is opening up on yeah. the bottom there. But, yeah, I'm real happy to have this back. A little duct tape. It'll be all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're going to do? Mm -hmm. Hey, Arnold. <laughs> so let's clear this away, and then we'll get to the next thing. Oh, is something else? There's always more. There's another small box. That one says Entertainment Earth, so I can guess what it is. Yep. Odds are it's for you. Yep. I'm the only one that orders from Entertainment Earth. Yeah, actually. You have something else you're supposed to be getting from Entertainment Earth. Yeah, two more things. Oh. It's a Care Bear. I'm surprised they didn't uh, wrap that better. I guess they got a form-fitting box. So to them, that's enough. Yeah, because it got scuffed up pretty good. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. I'm concerned about the Care Bear uh, line after hearing about, you were telling me yesterday about how a lot of people's Care Bear order um, was canceled. Yeah. And I know I pre-ordered mine from um, uh, uh, Continuum Toys. And they sent out a little message a few days ago. I sent, I showed it to you, saying that a lot of their Funko orders, Funko has, has canceled. Canceled their orders. A lot of their orders. And some people will get theirs and some people won't. And they shut their site down until they get it straightened out. So that's really discouraging because, you know, like with Continuum, they sell those bundle sets, and I told y'all about that before. So I bought the whole set with the bundles to include the chases and stuff. So that's all I need to complete my set, plus the Toys R Us. But other than that, that's all I need to complete the set. Yeah, because and I've been hearing on the on the blogs from people complaining that after winning and paying for the uh, Bedtime Bear off the Funko shop, mm -hmm. they were getting emails from Funko saying that we're sorry we're having to cancel your order we'll refund your money see so and you know that's just you know that's just bad business bad protocol um I don't know so that concerns me nah I don't blame you and another big one this one I've already cracked this one open so I kind of know what this is big box from Amazon and some paper inside. You can see that. 
And what this is, is a couple of the dragons, or Pop Rides Dragon Riders from Game of Thrones. And this is not really for me, this is actually for my youngest, for my youngest son, Achilles. Yes, Achilles is his real name. Because he likes dragons. He likes uh, Funko Pop dragons only. He doesn't really like anything else from Funko, but he does like the dragons, which is fine. You know, everybody's got their little niche. And these were actually priced really cheap on Amazon. So that was a good deal for him. That's nice. Yep. And that one glows in the dark. Oh, okay. I don't know it's not the same person. No, it's two different characters from Game of yeah. Thrones, which I know nothing about Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. But uh, this one needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's kind of dusty and stuff. But yeah, see that one glows in the dark. Yeah. I like the coloring on it. Yeah, it is some really nice the coloring. Blue and the gray. It goes real well together. Yeah. So he'll like those. We'll continue here, and I know what this is. Looks like a book. And it's not a book. Huh. But it is a surprise because it is something that's actually very rare. Oh, okay. Yeah. Goes along with something else I already opened. Yay. And newspaper. Yeah, they tried. Bubble wrap. This is an action figure. It's a vintage action figure. Mm -hmm. And it is... Get this out of here carefully because I don't want the tape to touch it. Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Commando. Well, this is actually Chopper from the C team. Oh, okay. C for Commando, that is. Mm -hmm. These carded figures from Diamond Toy Makers are ridiculously rare to find. Hmm. Mint on the card. You can find That's them loose. That's a nice card, though. Yeah. I mean, it looks in good shape. And this is from Series 2. Series 1 only had six figures. In Series 2, they just added two more, including Chopper, who you're looking at right here. These are very difficult to find. And so, as I pointed out with that other one that I had just opened up, I'm trying to rebuild the Schwarzenegger Commando series. And I got a really good deal on this one. That's the only thing in that box? Yes. Oh. Just a little box. Mm. So let's clear this away and see what else we got. A big box. Mm -hmm. And I guess this must be yours. Yep. So let's see what we got. It says... Entertainment, entertainment Earth. Earth. Is it an Entertainment Earth box? Yeah. Okay. So hopefully it's packed well, that being the case. That big old box would better be. I yeah. didn't think it really. should be in a box that big. And of course, there's your catalog. It's like, please buy more stuff from us because mm -hmm. we're Entertainment Earth and mm -hmm. it's full of like about 95% of stuff you don't want. Look at this. Yeah, what is that? Star Trek. Star Trek. Awesome. What does it say? Wooden tiki tiki totems. Oh God. I guess you build a totem pole. I never saw Elvira dressed like that in my life. Mm, she is on this well, thing. She, she is like a that. drag queen. Well, <laughs> Elvira, Elvira is not an unattractive uh, woman. No, but this but, one right here yeah, looks that, like a drag queen. That image is terrible, yeah. But I, I don't recall ever seeing her dressed like that. You know, she always wore like a long black gown. Yeah. So I used to watch that show. It's kind of like Mystery Science Theater. She would just sit there and make fun of the movies. Yeah, but only during intermissions. Oh, yeah, true. Not like throughout the entire show. Paper. <laughs> lots and lots of paper. Gee whiz. Paper. Okay. Well, it's packed. What is this? What have you got here? A figure. Move that out of the way. Is that a 1-6 scale? Yep. Holy crap. Okay. As some of you probably already know, 
if you've been watching our other show, our other videos. <laughs> our other show. Yeah, our other show. Our other show. videos that Lady Prop Hunter is a huge, like, Ninja Turtle fan. Let's see. How does this open? I see the flap. I guess you're going to have to... Okay. Be careful. Yes, I will be very careful with your box. I just want to open it up and let everybody see what you've got here. Is that the top or the bottom? I think it's the top. All right, so I'll turn this sideways and we'll slide that out. Oh. So this is the Bebop, right? This is the bop, bat, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Bebop. One sixth scale action figure from Nickelodeon made by 3-0, I believe, yeah, right? Yeah, 3-0. Zero. 3-0 made this. His toes are coming through one of his boots. <laughs> <laughs> he gets hairy stomach. Hairy stomach, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Should we, uh, this is that open up without a problem. I just want to see if I can pop this lid up so that they can uh, see better. See him a little bit better. I don't know. Yeah, that button doesn't want to give up. Here we go. So that they can take a look at it without the glare. If I can get this up, I don't want to damage anything, obviously. Because I know you want to keep all your packaging. Yeah. Wow. Down. There it is. One more. All right, now that should come all the way off. He's got a bag on his head. Yeah, leave so. it there. I know, I'm just going to lift it up so that we can see. Because mm. the beard is real hair. Oh, yeah. See, the beard and the mohawk are real hair. Get a close-up, or try to here. Mm-hmm. It'd be nice once you get this on display. Yeah, mixed media. Mixed media. Here, for something for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're interested in seeing that. Oh, you sure? Seeing I don't know. That. that is incredible. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There's glasses. Mm hmm. And an wow. extra hand. Yep, an extra hand do, doing the rock and roll sign. Yeah. All right. Wow, I did not know you got that. Mm -hmm. So let's clear this away and move on. And next, another one for you. Yeah. You get so much. Because I order stuff. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I see that. I don't even know what that is. At least the box isn't damaged. Mm -hmm. Ah. Is that pops? No. Oh, yeah. I forgot I ordered that. Uh huh. You order so much stuff, you don't even know what you're doing. I oh, know. Set Skeletor. The Comic Con Wacky Wobbler Metallic Skeletor. Yeah, it's, that looks good. It looks way better than the regular one. Limited edition of 480 pieces. Oh, really? Yep. That's back when they used to do this kind of stuff. 30th anniversary of uh, Masters of the Universe. Oh, okay. Very nice. Yeah. And the box is in decent shape. Yeah, it looks brand new. And you have the whole set? Yeah, I have the whole set and then that and one And then this one, so yeah. all five of them. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. All right. And we're still going here, and that looks like a book box. Yeah. I had ordered a couple books mm -hmm. for oh. the collection. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Masters of the Universe uh, newspaper comic scripts. Yeah, the complete yeah. Uh, sun, uh, weekday and Sunday strip edition. Yeah. Of the. I have the original comics. It came in a bound book like that, but a little smaller. So yeah. I wanted to get the comics. So we, those are the comics. We like to read these. Yeah, we read them. That's in really nice shape. And it has a. Uh, Oh, okay. A yeah. Fabric tab I found it on um Amazon, brand new. It was um it was it was cheap, free shipping. So it's a lot better than paying like forty bucks for it at uh, Books a Million. Yeah, because we went to Books a Million and they had it for forty dollars. So I checked Amazon mm -hmm. and they had it for eighteen. So 
another one here. I don't think that's a book. No. It's far too light to be a book. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay. Well, we're about to see. Yeah. Well, at least the packing is nice. Yeah, it's all right so far. And foam. Oh, and that's a Hikari. Another Hikari Skeletor for your collection. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, Funko makes Hikari. And we like the Hikari. We like the large ones like yeah, this. Yeah, not the mini Hikaris. I don't like those. You can't really tell. With the larger one, they colored it and they gave you some contrast. And the minis is all one color. Yes. And you really kind of have a hard time figuring out who the character is on some of Sometimes, them. Sometimes, yeah. So you look at it and you're like, what have I got here? Yeah. Another small box. Let's see what we got here. Come on. Is that a pop? Yes, it is. I don't think so. Yes, oh, it is. Oh, finally, my Care Bear. And like we were saying, isn't it interesting that Funko says we don't care about the boxes, but look how they ship them. Yeah. In his own individual box. Own individual That's the box. one from the Funko shop. Yes, The it is. Wednesday release that so, came out a few weeks ahead. ago. It's a little dusty. He not flat? No. He's not flocked. And, oh, my. What? Look at the paint, the paint scheme on the star. Yeah, it's all, it's all messed it's up. It's really all. raggedy yeah. uh, paint on the star mm -hmm. there. Well, what's the difference with this one? He's not flocked. No, but he Bedtime Bear, um, Funko Shop's the only way you can get bedtime. Oh, 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 That's what oh, it was. oh, 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 okay. But, okay, yeah, okay. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, well, you it's know, intact, but the paint is kind of. Yeah, you know, Funko is not known for good quality work, so. Uh, they just living Not up always. to their to their standard. Now this one I'm a little concerned about because I I think I know what this one is. This yeah, long box. I know what that and is, and it, it looks beat up. It is beat up, and it's NECA. And it came from um, Entertainment Earth. No, it did no. not come from Entertainment Earth. Walmart. Yeah. The uh, NECA through Walmart, but well, the, not through. Um, companies sell stuff through Walmart. Yes. So that's what that is. Well, hopefully, hopefully it's safe. Well, mm -hmm. we'll find out here in yeah. a second. It came UPS. You push so. that top in. Oh Jesus! Oh, it's all beat up. Yeah, it is. Oh wow, it's oh, in real bad shape. Back. This is this is getting returned. Yeah, that's going to get returned. That is really badly packed. Yes. Wow. Yeah, that's. Thanks really a lot, Walmart. Well, it wasn't Walmart. It was the company that they use to that ships through them. Yeah, because yeah, all around the side here it. too. That's very disappointing. It is. And up here, all yeah. through here, the top is the worst. Because you know we're in the box collectors. She was not going to take this out of the box. Yeah. If that was the case, it would be okay. But. Yeah, that's okay. a, that's a shame, especially for the amount that you pay for those. Those NECA quarter scale figures are not cheap. No. And another huge one. Yeah. Goodness. Okay. Let's see. Holy holies, what have yeah. you got here? Yeah, I got a few things. A that one. few things. That one looks mesquite, uh, mantenna. Mantenna's kind of beat up there. Yeah, in the he looks kind of beat up. Who, what did you do? Order like a lot? Yeah. Uh, you bought somebody's lot? Mm hmm. Okay. And it was cheap. All right, well, we'll pull these down. Mighty Spector, mesquite tour. We're going to take everybody out and then we'll go ahead and open them. Okay. That's very dusty. Yeah, it's very dusty. That's been on the shelf for a while. All right, put that one over there. Oh, they get sent this twice. Did they? Yeah. Uh-oh. 
Somebody's got an extra Vicron. I won't tell if you won't. Well, let's uh, see how these look in here. Well, we see Mantena. He's Man. from the Evil Horde. So oh. these are the ones that come with him. Hurricane, Horde, Grizzlord, Mantena, Leech, Mosquito, and Catra. So I think I have... Yeah, I actually do. I have yeah. all of these. So I don't need any more. There's the mighty Spectre, which actually looks kind of like a Marvel superhero. Yeah, he <laughs> See, does. See, we've got a, a gun and a holster there. Uh huh. That's interesting. He's in really good shape. Yeah. See Too who's bad on about the back. antenna, though. This is what happens when people lose the box. Yeah. It, it has this protective box for a reason. And that's the uh, characters on the back. Yes, and this is Voltac. Voltac. Yep. He's in great shape. Mm-hmm. Here are the guys on the back. Oh, she, he's from She-Ra. Well... Horde. Evil Horde. Yeah, Evil Horde and She-Ra and Bo are, are shown here, but See, the rest have of them... them don't you? Yeah, I have Hero and... um, I mean, Bo and She-Ra. I do. Yeah, yes. Mosquito. Does this one do with the old one? I think it does. Squirt out the water. Well, no, it doesn't squirt water. The old one, it had a button on the back, and when you pressed it, the blood would pump through the thing oh, like he was yeah. sucking blood out of people, <laughs> which was kind of cool. Fun. So, Shadow Weaver uh, and Leech Catra. Shadow Weaver is a hard one to get. They didn't make many of those, apparently, the Shadow Weaver. You usually see them for quite a bit. Castle Grayskull, man. Yeah. Goodness. Here you go. Yeah, he looks interesting. Yeah. I want to read the bio on that one. We Snake Man in Arms, um, King Grayskull, He-Man, Castle Grayskull, Man, King Hiss, and Hordak. Yeah, you know we read these. Yeah. We read all these bios. Oh, uh, Dragon, the Dragon Blaster. Blaster. Skeletor. I have the original, the original. Dragon Blaster. Here, take this one, and then uh, you can hand me the Vicron. We'll take a look at Vicron. So you got Pre-Eternia. Okay, so I have all of these. I think except for Web Store. I don't remember. And here go Vicron. Vicron. We'll see how this looks. Yeah, I got two of them. I don't know. Well, why maybe it was in. The, maybe there were two in the lot. Get this out carefully. And the Vicron Deluxe set here. Oh, I think I know Look what at that. it is. He's got a, a tank helmet. I know I know why. One of them, he came with the helmet on. Well, I don't... See, look at this. He's, uh, he's got a tank turret for, for a head. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. That's ridiculous. I don't remember Vicron. I don't remember him He's either. got wings. Three interchangeable armors. He's got one dar as part of this one. And yeah, that's what it is. I remember oh, now. Oh, there's two versions. Yeah, one he came with the tank helmet on, and then see the see the yeah. two. They just put one with him with the tank helmet on, and then the other with the I don't know what that is, but. His little flight suit. Yeah. Yeah. So you can get them both in both ways. Oh, so that works out pretty good because then you don't have to open it up to put them together. You just don't have a version of him with the helmet, like the gladiator helmet in a little chest belt. Sure. But, you know, hey, yeah, I remember now after I, I saw it, I remembered it came with the two different head molds. So, oh, here, yeah. Okay. So that's why it's two. God, He Man Bonanza here today. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> that was just some uh, air pillows. Well, let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. Okay. So, did you like our unboxing? Let us know what you thought in the comments section down below. Did you see anything there that you would really like? Let us know what you think. Would you like to see us do more videos like this? Let us know in the comments section down below. Please remember to like. If you got something out of the video, share if you can, subscribe if you haven't, check out some of our other content if you're new, you may find something you like. We do a lot of different things on this channel. 
join the community. The more of you there are, the more we can do here. So thanks for watching.